What's up guys, it's Dwayne, back again for another video, back again for another reaction and today's a great, wonderful, amazing day because it's another Finland day. 10 things in my Finnish home that just make sense. I want to know what's in her home. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. Hey! Hello! Are you curious about Finnish homes? Well, in this video, I am. I'm going to show you 10 things in my Finnish home that just make sense. Let me see. Make sure to watch until the end and I'll be featuring one bonus item that in my opinion doesn't make any sense. I'll be also sharing <laughs> why I have such a special connection with my towels. My name is Varpo and I'm your Finnish fairy Bravo. godmother. I help you get connected with the Finnish culture and language and all things relating to Finland. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will. Let's go. Let's first talk about Can I just say, she has a lovely smile. She's, she's very happy and I love that. She's like smiling all the way through her video. Wow. Anyways. In Finland. <laughs> There is so many questions coming from you guys about this one feature and that is the small bidet, uh, the tiny shower head or käsi suihko in Finnish. Okay. Now this shower head is used to wash your private parts. Mm -hmm. It works also amazingly well with small small kids and it's the perfect tool to quickly clean your bathroom. Absolutely. Another cool feature in many Finnish bathrooms are the heated floors they are so calm before we move on to heated floors um <clears throat> bidets are amazing i think there's kind of a little bit of a a bit of trepidation a little bit of kind of like oh i don't know if i want to spray water on my bum in britain in england because i have a bidet where i live i don't live in england at the moment but I have a B-Day, just like they do in Finland. And they're, they're great. In England, no households have those. None. There's no bum guns. <laughs> There's none. And they're, why? Why would you use paper? I read in the comment section in my other video, someone said, <laughs> someone said, would you, would you, if you got poo on your hand, sorry, if you had feces on your hand, would you clean it with a, a piece of paper? No. So why do you do that with your bum? Water is the best thing to clean it with. So it just makes sense. And now I just don't know if I could move back to England and have to deal with toilet paper and no B-Day. So I'm going to have to move to Finland instead. Because <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> In many Finnish bathrooms... Uh are the heated floors. I love they heated are floors. so comfy after a shower. And in many apartments or houses, you can have the entire home with heated flooring, just like ours. Can I just say though, with heated flooring, uh, do you not, um, does it not cost more in terms of like electricity and gas? Not ga maybe not gas, or oh, maybe gas, yeah. Doesn't it cost more in energy, energy bills because you're also heating your floor? Or do you just have the heating floor, heated floor on and maybe not a radiator on um, to heat the house? Let me know. Because I, I have, my parents have a heated floor in their, con, what's called a conservatory, which is like an extra room. Looks like a greenhouse. I don't know if you guys have it, have those in uh, Finland, but it's like an extra attachment to the house and the floor is heated but they never have it on because they say it basically skyrockets the electric bill um energy bill let me know in the comment section if it's cheap to have a heated floor or it's reasonable to have a heated floor in finland or maybe it's so cold that it's like a necessity let me know in the comment section below now into my favorite room of the house which is the kitchen here we come across the number three and this item is Justa Höhle, the cheese slicer and this oh. just makes perfect sense when you are about to do a sandwich and you need to slice your cheese or your cucumber uh wow i know uh, it's something that's so simple but i absolutely love she went it was really easy to slice. That's a really good slicer. I kind of want one now. Um, I have cheese in my fridge, but I just tend to slice it with 
uh, a sharp knife, but I want a uh, cheese slicer now. Uh, it- I might pick up a cheese slicer when I come to Finland next year. It is the best tool <laughs> ever. Then let's go into number four, number five, number six. First, I want to talk about the infamous dish drying cabinet, Astian Kuivauskaappi. It is so convenient. You can use it for storage. You can use it for uh, your dishes and they don't take any of the counter uh, top area. Oh. Another thing that just makes sense. Are they, is, is it built into a lot of cupboards in uh, in Finland? Or, yeah, it must be just built into, into the cupboards, right? Or is it something you can purchase and put in your cupboards? I think it's a good idea because our, our sink area, we have a drying rack by the sink. And it's like, it takes up a bit of counter. We've got a lot of counter space, so yeah. I don't know, let me know for a Finnish person is the dish brush. I want to know, and please do let me know in the comments, do you use a dish brush or a dish sponge? Because when I have been... A dish sponge. ...living in the Europe, uh, in many countries we are using a sponge. In Finland we are using a brush. And oh. this makes sense in Finland, in my opinion, because if you use a brush, you don't get your hands wet when uh, that much when you're doing a quick wash. The next item that... But we also use... It does make sense, I guess, because you're holding the handle, you're not really getting your hands wet. They're not getting all crinkly. However, in the UK, we have a thing called marigolds, which are like yellow gloves. I don't know if you have them in Finland, but it's just to protect your hands from getting wet and they're just like yellow gloves that you put on they're waterproof and they stop your hands getting dirty they stop your hands getting wet they actually protect from like really hot water as well um and we do that and use a sponge instead of maybe the handle the handle brush that you guys use (laughs) the handle brush the brush that just makes sense in a finnish home is this tiny switch that is attached to the sink and this controls the water uh, that you use in the dishwashing machine. We also use this similar feature uh, when it comes to the washing machine. A little bit lower in... You've got a switch that controls the water for the dishwashing machine. Why would you need to have that? Is it not on and off switch on your dishwasher? I'm confused as to why you'd need a little tap um yeah interesting i don't know let me know what that if that is useful in your home or in the kitchen you will find recycling Recycling bins in finland and this just makes sense for the environment and for the nature now in my kitchen we have a bio waste plastic glass metal and energy waste uh, where you put everything she is efficient. She, do you see all the bit, four or five bit? Is that normal in the Finnish home? Do you guys have like four or five different bins for waste? Because in England, we do recycling, but we have three bins, three big, in, big bins in our garden. Um, in the home, we tend to separate the plastics and the recyclable recyclable goods in one bin and then the wet the wet waste in another bin and then outside we have a green bin that's for like garden stuff then you have a black bin i want to say for wet stuff and then like a brown bin no brown bin for wet stuff and a black bin i think for recyclables i don't know i think that's how it goes but uh, yeah, it's a bit different. We have three, three, three separate bins. Garden waste, wet waste, and recyclable waste. But she had quite a lot there. Everything else that can burn. Can you make a Finnish home video without mentioning the sauna? I think not. Sauna. So that's why here is number eight, the sauna. There are 2.3 million saunas in Finland and we all... 2.3 million saunas 
it's not in Britain. There's hardly any sa- saunas. Uh, where I live in my condo building, we have a a sauna. We have one, um, but it's shared between like a lot of people, <laughs> and I don't think many people go in the sauna. But um, it's not common. It's it's very rare in Britain to have a sauna in a house. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a sauna in a house. So let me know how... Well, she said there's millions in, in Finland. So is that in every home? Comment below. <clears throat> Everyone who's watching, comment below if you have a sauna in your um, apartment or house. Because I would like to see how many people actually do. Um, and then I'll be able to gauge whether actually it's a very, very common thing in Finland. Let me know. We all pretty much have them in our own homes. She, and if we don't that. have them at our own home, we have a communal sauna in most of the buildings, uh, apartment buildings. The sauna wow. also conveniently doubles as a space to dry your clothes. And oh, those yeah. dryers aren't that popular in Finland, so we air dry our clothes. And the rack we use is called, <sighs> take a deep breath, Bügin kuivausteline. Bügin kuivausteline. Bügin kuivausteline. I tried. Um, we have drying racks as well. Finish. In the beginning, I told you that I have a special connection with my towels. And why? Well, this is number 10. And the reason is that my... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Before she gets to number 10, we... Um, sorry, I just, I, you know, you just remember something. So we don't have... We don't dry our clothes in a sauna because most houses in Britain don't have saunas. But what we do do, or um, at least my family did, uh, we had an, a, a cupboard called an airing cupboard. And it's called an airing cupboard because the boiler that heats all the water in the house lives in this cupboard and in some houses well my house growing up as a child there was space to hang clothing in the boiler room so that it could just air in the hot the hot cupboard with the boiler and you could dry your clothes it's kind of a similar thing as similar to putting your clothes in a sauna we used to put our some of our clothes in the airing cupboard <laughs> and why? Well, this is number 10. And the reason is that my grandmothers have taught me the style that I fold my towels, my pillowcases and my bed sheets. And every time I do them, it just reminds me of them and the past generations. Another reason why these are special to me are that they are passed down from my camp grandparents to me. So it is quite popular that uh, when you're starting your own home, you get uh, bed sheets and towels from, for example, your grandparents or parents. And some of the bed sheets that I have are from the 60s. Wow. Now, in my family, when a sheet breaks down, we don't actually throw it away, but we reuse the cloth. And we actually, actually use this again and again when we are cleaning the house. Welcome to the bonus section. So, the one thing that doesn't make sense, in my opinion, in Finnish homes is the blinds. So, in Finland, the blinds uh, are for privacy reasons and they don't block the light out of the room. So, we still have to use blackout curtains. When I was living in France, I had like proper <laughs> blinds uh, outside the window and they, at least in my apartment, blocked all light out of the room. Of the room. Yeah, I mean, uh, blinds are quite popular in Europe in general, I think. Uh, in England, a lot of people have blinds and curtains. And they don't, blinds don't really block out uh, light. It is just for privacy. So people can't look into your, into your room when you're uh, doing something intimate. <laughs> um, so yeah, everyone has curtains. It's quite normal. So I wouldn't say that's weird. Not for me anyways, but... Maybe for an American, maybe? Woohoo! There is the whole list. I would love to know in the comments what was the best item for you. 
I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Here is my sauna video if you want to know how to warm up uh, all three different types of Finnish saunas. Hey hey and see you next time. That was a really good video. I like her. What's her name? Her Finland. Make sure you subscribe to her after you subscribe to me. Um, and yeah, like I'm going to watch that video at some point as well because I want to learn about your saunas. Saunas is a really interesting concept that I did not know you had millions of them. Wow, you take it very seriously, but I guess in Finland it's so cold that you kind of need one, um, and it makes sense. And heated flooring, you, that that makes sense in Finland as well if it's really cold and a lot of the uh, in the winter time. So, yeah, cool, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you soon.